Wanda Maximoff is a character who was and still is extremely popular since her first appearance in Avengers Age of Ultron. Over her seven years in the MCU, Wanda Maximoff has greatly increased her power level from what it was in Age of Ultron, so today we're going to be looking into her feet and where we would rank her in the MCU power scale without being biased. Guess I should have not. Oh my god. What are you doing here? So to start off, to fully look into Wanda, we should look at the different forms she takes throughout her appearances. So to start off, we have her initial form from Age of Ultron and Civil War. This is Wanda in her early days when she didn't really understand her potential or how to use her powers. Whilst not being the most powerful form of her, she's still extremely powerful at this point. And to make it easier, we're just going to call this one Hydra Wanda. The next form is Wanda in Infinity War and Endgame. It's pretty obvious she'd have the same power level seeing as both of these movies happen within a couple of days for her. Um, and we'll call this form Infinity Wanda. The final form is obviously going to be a Scarlet Witch. This is Wanda during WandaVision and Multiverse of Madness where she's at her peak. So to start off, Hydra Wanda isn't too powerful. Her most powerful ability is mind control I'd say, which is extremely powerful even at this point in time. But her physical control and strength from her powers aren't strong enough to be highly ranked. Her mind control abilities are very powerful. For example, she overrode the Mind Stones control on Dr. Helen as well as hijacking the mind of Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow and Thor. Despite being less physically powerful compared to her mental strengths, she's still extremely strong at this point. For example, she could take down Ultron bots fairly easily after siding with the Avengers. Also, when her brother Pietro died, um, the pain caused her to kill loads of them with an extremely large wave of energy. She also took Iron Man down using cars, but personally I think that's only because there happened to be cars there. So that's not the best feat when you think about it. She did however fail to contain crossbones so she can't control her powers too well at this point either. She overpowers Vision fairly easily, sending him down several stories into the ground which at this point in time for her is an incredible feat. Overall I would say this Wanda could beat characters like Black Widow, Hawkeye and Falcon, you know more street level heroes because they don't have any notable powers to fight back. But she would stop at people like Thor, Hulk, Captain America, and you know Shang-Chi if he was in this point in time. A fairly balanced fight I think Hydra Wanda would have is with Doctor Strange at this time, seeming as he is fairly new to magic himself and I think that it would come down to just the luck at the moment. Next up is Infinity Wanda. Since Civil War Wanda grows even more powerful, she can now fly and control her powers strong enough to face some powerful enemies. At this point her mental and physical attacks have probably balanced out to both being extremely powerful making her almost unbeatable. Her feats include defending Vision from Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight until Steve turns up, and she ends up killing Proxima later in Wakanda. She also takes down huge machines invading Wakanda and finally destroys the Mind Stone whilst holding Thanos with five Infinity Stones back with one hand. Seeming as most of the Avengers tried to fight Thanos back and she managed to do it with one hand whilst destroying an Infinity Stone with the other, I know she didn't fight him back fully, but she held him back long enough so that she could destroy the Mind Stone, which is also an incredible feat. She then returns in the portal scene of Endgame and has one of the biggest feats in the Infinity Saga, which was making Thanos scream out in pain and making him endanger his own army to get her to back off. She also breaks his blade, which is believed to be made out of Uru or another extremely strong metal. Obviously at this stage Wanda is extremely powerful and can only be beaten by one person that I can think of in this universe and that's Captain Marvel. I think people that she would be evenly matched with include Thor and Doctor Strange, which once again would come down to whoever gets the upper hand in the moment. Last of all is the Scarlet Witch. This is where Wanda reaches her peak by using emotions from losing Vision as well as later using the Darkhold. In WandaVision, Wanda manages to create a separate reality that stretches over an entire town and uses mind control on everybody who lives there. She also manages to beat Agatha Harkness in a magical fight, who has been a witch for an extremely long time. And we all know what she did in Multiverse of Madness. First of all, she summoned many powerful creatures such as Gargantos to capture America Chavez. Also, she easily took down the likes of Professor X, Mr. Fantastic and Black Bolt with reality manipulation and telekinesis. She also took out Captain Marvel and Captain Carter with a slight challenge, but still, she didn't really break a sweat. There's also a deleted scene of Wanda holding Earth-616's Mordo's decapitated head, meaning she could easily beat him too. She then destroyed the Darkhold in every universe by pulling down the Darkhold castle, possibly ending her own life too. This Wanda could take down everybody in the MCU as much as I've denied it in the past, it's the truth. But we're in the multiverse saga now, and What If showed us some pretty tough characters. First of all, a balanced fight against the Scarlet Witch, in my opinion, could have been Doctor Strange, 
However, not anymore because he got nerfed in his own movie. Seriously, he went from turning a black hole into butterflies to being caught in a spiderweb. One what-if character that I think would pose a threat but wouldn't be able to beat Wanda is the Watcher. And that's mainly because he's probably out of training. You know, he hasn't been fighting for long. We see that with his fight against Infinity Ultron. He's kind of sloppy just because he hasn't fought in so long because he's a watcher he doesn't he isn't meant to fight for that reason i think wanda would kill the watcher just because she's so powerful a character that i think would equally match the scarlet witch is strange supreme and i think the circumstances of the fight and what's around them would eventually decide the winner but there is one character that we all know would beat the scarlet witch and that's none other than infinity ultron if you think the scarlet witch could beat infinity ultron you know, I respect opinions, but this one is just plain wrong. We see Strange Supreme summon Zombie Wanda, who, by the way, did beat Hulk, otherwise she wouldn't be alive, to fight against him, and a few seconds later, Infinity Ultron emerges unbothered, so he could easily kill Wanda probably around her Infinity Saga stage, and I think if it only took him a few seconds to beat her, he could easily beat the Scarlet Witch. Now, obviously, like I said, we are in the Multiverse Saga, so there is more characters coming that could possibly pose a threat to the Scarlet Witch, for example Kanga Conqueror, but for now I think I can happily stick by my choices of my rankings against Wanda. To recap, Hydra Wanda could beat basic heroes such as Black Widow, Hawkeye, Daredevil and Falcon, while stopping at Thor, Hulk and Shang-Chi. Infinity Wanda could beat pretty much everybody in the universe except for Captain Marvel, and possibly Strange, whilst the Scarlet Witch sits happily at number 2 under Infinity Ultron obviously being number one in her universe. I hope you enjoyed this video of me power scaling Wanda. Let me know who you want to see me power scale next in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon with another video.